Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to show you how to create a little button in your header up here. When you click on it, it pops out a subscribe form that you can collect email addresses for your email clients. Really easy to do. To do this today, we're going to need Divi installed, obviously. We're also going to be using Divi Supreme Modules Pro plugin, which is an awesome plugin, and you'll find the links for all those below this video. So let's get started. To do this today, we need to create a custom menu. So I'm going to go down to Divi and to Theme Builder. And I guess we'll start from scratch. I'll just delete the one I've got there and we'll add a new one. I'm going to build from scratch. I'm going to put in a new row that's going to sort of fit the menu that we want to put in there. I think I'll have a, a two column one with just a skinny one on the right hand side for the button. And I'm going to insert a menu module in the left hand column there we go and I'm going to choose my one page menu I'm going to add my logo I'll keep this very simple okay let's go to our design and just you can set the layout and menu text and all things like that. I'm going to keep mine very simple. I'm just going to go down to sizing, logo max, max width. I just want to shrink my logo down to its usual sort of size. There we go, fantastic. Okay, well let's just add a little button over here. This is just normal Divi buttons. We're using all normal Divi modules at the moment. Now let's say subscribe. Okay, I'm not even going to put a link in because we're going to be using it for a pop-up. So I'm going to save that. Let's just style this a little bit. Let's go up into our section. I don't want it to be as large as that. So I'm going to take the padding away from the section. So I've gone to the section. I'm in the design. I'm down to spacing. I'm going to put padding zero, top and bottom. Great. And it's probably still a little too wide. Just put a skinny line on our section at the bottom just so that we can see exactly how wide our section is. So I'm going to go down to border. I'm going to put a select bottom border. I'm going to give it one pix. And the color. I don't want it as dark as that, so I'll take the opacity down on it so it's more of a light gray, something like that. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit wide. So let's take a bit of padding away from our row green tab for a row, blue for a section, dark for the module. And again we're going to go design, spacing, and let's try giving it say 10 picks top and bottom. Just put in the 10, it'll put in the picks for you, hit the chain, it'll do the other side. Yeah, that's about the height we want, and we want to push that one down a little bit, the button. So let's go into our button. Now we'll go to spacing. We'll use margin for this. If I use padding, it'll make the, the button fatter, if I show you. It's added 10 picks inside between the actual wording and the outside of the button, which is what we don't want. So let's add it as a margin. Great, that'll do. OK, I'm going to leave this just like it is for a moment. I'm going to save. And I'm going to go to a page, it doesn't matter which one. Let's enable the visual builder. That's our old header up there, I'm sure. It'll probably refresh with the new one. And what we need to do now is to create our opt-in, our email opt-in. So I'm going to go down anywhere. I'm going to add a new module. It really doesn't matter where because this is going to pop up for us. And I'm looking for an email opt-in. There it is. And again, that's a regular Divi module. There it is right there. 
Again, I won't spend any time on it. Obviously, you'd probably want to spend some more time on yours. Styling wise, let's just give it a slightly different background content. Let's put background. Okay. And for anybody that doesn't know, to hook it up, you need to hook it up to your MailChimp or Constant Contact. There's plenty of them here. In your account, you'll find an API key. In MailChimp, I know it's under extras. Once you've got your API key in there, you can select your various different lists there. Okay, I'm not going to change anything else. I'm just going to keep that exactly as it is. You can style yours more, obviously. Okay, now we've created it, we want to get rid of it and we'll save it to our library so we can use it as a pop up. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to hit the little icon just to the left of the trash can there. I'll give it a name. And save it to my library. Okay, we'll trash it now because we don't need it anymore. Let's save our changes. And exit the Visual Builder. Now to make this work today, I mentioned Divi Supreme Pro before. You need to have that installed and activated. And we need to go down to Divi Supreme Pro. Just click on it. It'll give you this page right here. For this to work today as a pop-up, you need to have Enable Divi Pop-up switched to On. And save your changes okay well let's go back to our theme builder now and we're going to tell this button to become a pop-up I'm going to get out of here I'm going to refresh my page here make sure all my changes are saved once saved I can go back into that header Okay, well let's go into our button here and tell it to be a pop-up now that we've enabled it. I'm going to go hit the little cog. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go down to visibility. Roll down a little bit. We've now got a switch here that says use pop-up. Had we not enabled this switch here, you would not see that. So I'm going to switch that to on. I want it to pop up a layout which one we want the one that we just saved which was subscribe we want to trigger on module click we could also select button click as it is the module is a button and there's all kind of other options but either of the first two is going to work for me today with this situation there's all kind of ways of closing the pop-up I'm going to leave mine on outside pop-up that way if they click anywhere outside it's going to close Otherwise, you can just choose to click on the close button. Don't want to use auto close. That'll close it after a certain period of time that you select. And there's all kind of crazy animations for fading in and fading out. I want it to be in the center. I want it to have absolute positioning. Don't want it to be full width, that'll cover up the menu and everything else. It's going to pop out like a little light box and darken the background. You can change your max width if you want to for various responsive devices with the little telephone light icon there. But I'm happy with 680, that seems to work for most things for me. And yes, we do want to show an overlay, so that darks out the background. I'm going to leave it on the default. You can choose any color you wish. And we'll have a close button. It'll be inside our sub form. You can select your icon here. And there's plenty to choose from with elegant themes icons. And of course you can choose your colors. So I think we're good to go. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save my changes here. And we can exit out of here. Make sure that all our changes are saved. Go back to our page, refresh the page. And there we have it. Now when we click on our subscribe button, 
hit flashes in that thing that I got that crazy entrance going on there's the close button and there's the exit and that's a nice little feature to have on your site don't think I'd choose that sort of glitchy flashy effect when it comes in but it's just one of the options for you so that is how to add a subscribe button with a pop-up subscribe form to your menu using the Divi themes and the fantastic Divi Supreme Pro so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.